hold on, hold on, let me take a sip. Yo ho, sending Christmas cards. Hi. The 12 cups of Christmas day four. Yes. So many shots of espresso. So much yeah, going on this holiday the season. The season's getting a little long for me, I think. Uh, I did get on my Peloton bike, but clearly my holiday workout <laughs> has been imbibing just a little bit to get through this season. Well, this season has been sickness, and then it's been just a lot. Way more stressors than normal. Susan, our happy medium, is here to make us happier during the holidays. I'm so excited you're joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Fun. I love this. And this is actually the first time that we've met in person. Yeah. So that's really cool. I've been getting all kinds of information. Yes. We've downloaded. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it just kind of goes, oh, and by the way, blah, 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 blah. No, but I appreciate it. I'm like the oh. person that's so open to it and wants to know and likes that, that, I would say that genre of information. So I'm very open to it and I appreciate it. Okay. I have a question though, before we get into our topic. Okay. Because we have her. Can you, and maybe you can tell me, maybe you don't want to tell me and, and whatever. So, you can explain to me how this works a little bit. You have guides. Yes. And then they give you a lot of information. And then you, where, can I ask the technical questions? Like, yeah. where did they get their information? Do they see patterns of the person's life you're talking to? Or do they see into the future, so to speak? Or is it a combination of things? Like, how does that? Well, uh, to keep it simple. Yeah. So past, present, and future are all happening at the same time. Okay. And so when this is very on theme with oh, Scrooge, we're, we're going with this. Go yeah, we, that's usually <laughs> right. My life. It's so <laughs> Scrooge. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. But um, so yeah, past, present, and future is happening all at the same time. And so when I kind of look at you, it's kind of like a snow globe of information. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's all swirling around you. And whatever just kind of sticks on the window is what I see first. Okay. That's like, a really good way to explain yeah. it. <laughs> Keeps it simple, but that's what I, and so it can be very distracting. And being okay. ADD, we were kind of talking about that, yeah. is you get this onslaught of information that doesn't always come in straight, how to handle that and yeah. how to decide what to keep and what to throw away. Yeah. Okay. And so that, yeah, so they, they just tell me what I need to know because I really don't need to know. Everything that's happening <laughs> over here. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's a deep dive, just really. Like, just, I just think of Tom just Cruise in like Vanilla Sky. Like, bring it up. No, no, <laughs> yeah. don't like that. So I next. That actually, okay, that's like a perfect, easy way to understand it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And okay, the more cool. you practice, the easier it is to figure out the snow globe. Okay. So just keep practicing and, and work with others that will listen and trust you, you know, your... I had this dream tonight, yeah. last night, or blah, 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 blah. I just got this vision. Yeah. It seems crazy. Can I just throw it at you? And you're like, yeah, sure. You know, like, yeah. that's the way to do it. With people that you trust that are willing With to hear you. that just love you unconditionally and know you're crazy, so it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Ah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we love so that. Good. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, for, thank you for that explanation. I'm excited that you're yeah, here. Nice. Hopefully not the first time. I love time talking about it. So it's, oh, good. Yeah. Okay, that makes me feel I better. I just think it's so know. on theme to have you as like, and if you ever need a reading with Susan, we'll put in the episode where to find her and how to get one of those because she does tea leave readings. She yeah. does like groups and parties and table tipping and she's got she's it's got so a lot cool. of things up her sleeve. But it's also good that we're talking about stressful Christmas traditions. Yes. And I saw six stressful Christmas traditions you can just stop doing now. And I thought <laughs> this would be a really good spot for us to yeah. start, especially with the holiday episode. So decorating in November. I feel always hurried and rushed this time of year already. Mm. But when everyone's like, oh, get, tree's all up, everything's done already. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so far behind. I, yeah. took, out, I took out a bucket of Christmas stuff. I, that's as far as I've gotten. It's way, it's way too soon for me. I need, a, I need to enjoy every phase and be really solidified in every stage. So if I just go from Thanksgiving immediately into Christmas, uh, my brain has like no transitionary period to compute that there's like, fall and gathering period and the harvest period and the eating period and then you go into like okay the twinkle and the sparkle and the where are you on that yeah. spectrum Susan as far as decorating you're like I'm already decorated I'm that person I am ah! <laughs> but no but not on purpose like this year is different okay I'm gonna be going away most of December oh okay. wow I'll be coming back right on the 22nd oh so I have to have it done okay or Christmas isn't gonna happen yeah and she's a grandma and I am a grandma. And so I want to get this done so that when I come back, 
I'm not because I'm going to look at everything and go, yeah, not happening. And okay. I want to experience it, but I'm going to miss it. So, um, yeah. But it, so, so that but that's an operational this year. That's thing. just this year. In yeah. general, normally I wait till December. I wait. Yeah. I want to enjoy. I love Halloween. So when yes. the next day after Halloween, when we saw Christmas, I was like. Did I miss something? Yeah. <laughs> did, I, did I jump into this t- Twilight yeah. Zone thing? And we were like, all of a sudden it's December. Like, what happened? I didn't even get to enjoy Thanksgiving. And yeah. I don't I don't feel like anybody did. Yeah. Because they were already had things on sale for 50% off before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Exactly. It we never we happened. Ta- we were talking so what about, was that? That about that. So crazy. Well, I, it and actually, she's in retail. So, so I work in retail. Oh, so this is my, my bread and butter. So it often, it does often happen this year with the sales trends. They most places pulled sales forward. So it definitely started earlier than. You're right. It started earlier. Yeah. yeah. And it's okay. I get it. We're just, what is the new norm? There isn't. Nothing is normal. So no. whatever we feel that we need to do is what it is. And we have to then decide as individuals to either jump on the early bandwagon or make whatever our reality is. Can I is. boycott it and tell everybody else to boycott it yeah. around me? Yeah. You can do totally. that. <laughs> <laughs> can I just bully year. everybody else into boycotting it? Right? <laughs> well, okay. we're not going to bully. <laughs> we're going to gently well, push well, them no. in a direction. <laughs> So, matching Christmas pajamas. How do we feel about these? I love Christmas I love PJs. I just ordered another set online. I'm all about it. I just can't imagine, like, forcing my family into oh, it. Oh, I absolutely <laughs> do. And I love their miserable little faces. I was like, you will smile for this photo. Just one. I just want one. And that's it. And they know it. And Lily looked at them this year, and she's like, what are you, Beverly Goldberg? These are terrible. I said, just put them on and wear them. I get them every single year, and I love the Christmas tradition of just the four of us. It's always the two littles. I used to get the big ones in, and they would never, ever smile and make the photo miserable. But now I get the two little ones. I can at least make them smile a little through the photos. <laughs> and they're comfy jammies. I think it's perfect. I, I have no qualms against Christmas pajamas. I'm just trying to imagine putting my older sister and my older brother and my nephew and my dad, like everybody. In. I see. I feel like that would be fun. Or Photoshop the one in that wasn't there. Oh also God. fun. <laughs> that. So that we can continue on doing the family Christmas cards. Now, I like the family Christmas cards, but I don't like the ones that come with the letter about Johnny and Susie and their year of this. And they did yes. this in January and they did this oh, in February. The people that just brag about their kids on and on and it's this full letter. Like, well, so-and-so is a great ace. Have you ever gotten one of those? Is in- a full ass letter of your family's so-and-so bullshit So-and-so is the on year? the Dean's list and <laughs> it's just care. like this laundry list just, of brags. I'm going to make up one like the hot mess family Christmas. <laughs> I love that. I like that. Right? I would love just to make, hear about like, that. Disaster after disaster and they'd be like, Kenzie took dance lessons so that she could be the best stripper she possibly could be. <laughs> like, those are the things I want to know about. That is Cliff the shit right there. will finally be out of jail for Christmas yeah, right? this Oh, year. we're so waiting for him. <laughs> like, yes. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> on the other that. note, though, my grandmother is famous for her Christmas cards. She's done them forever. They have, are always so good. The entire circle of friends around her wait for them because they're always perfect. Somehow she nails it every single year. So there's that, too. I mean, like, you think, like, will I participate? No. But no, but it's, it, there are some I like. You know what? Bring the Christmas cards. We'll either make fun of it, we'll either yes. hang it up, or we'll throw it away in five seconds. I feel like you just never you're know. Either it's either on two <laughs> spectrum. It's either like really horrifically annoying or iconic, and yeah. there's no in between. Yeah. Keepsake gifts. How do we feel about them? Like the Define twenty toddler keep- footprint ornaments and the. Um. I mean, I have five kids and they usually break. Let's just be honest. All of their kids' ornaments, uh, I get really sad about them, but every year I pull it out of the box and inevitably one to five of them break. And it's usually the turkeys that they made will like break up or whatever little owl thing. Yeah, 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 it happens that way. So it makes me a little sad every time I do it, but... My disintegrating ornaments. <laughs> That's really what I refer to them Susan, as. what do you think? Are you, as a, like, a you family a, person, mm, grandma status. As a grandma. You're like, I got My have tree them. is full of horrible ornaments. I love that. How many years? Yep. Yeah. And you've got however many children you're having, then grandchildren. Then now it's just, there's not a store bought one. It's all made. So, right. It, I take, I have to now weed out. And so, um, yeah, this year I have none of that on the tree. Oh, none really? Of, none of You it. went with a fresh tree. I went with very, um, yes. Yeah, Minimal. Very, like, Macy's tree. Nope. That has, 
Oh, no. I love that though. It was very oh different gosh. for me. Yeah. Usually I have all this memento on there and, and this year it was very crisp and very store perfect. Well, I kind of like that. Wasn't, though. You're like, no. Me. Not no, I'm like, I'm like full country, keepsake. Country, yeah. I'm like full keepsake memento status. The same ones that my brother made when, you know, he's in his 30s now. The ones that he made when he was little. that like are missing googly eyes and everything. Like they have to be on the tree. They have to be there. I will look for them specifically. Now everywhere I go, every place I travel, I grab an ornament because it's so fun for me to see. I have family members who make them for us. It's very, mm-hmm. the keepsake ornaments are big. I don't know house. who needs to hear it this year, but put down your glue gun. Grandma and grandpa are going to be fine. Oh, my God. So actually. Walk this away is, from the freaking tree. This is actually a super funny story. So my. I'm here for you. I support you. <laughs> so my, my sister bought this at the time. Beautiful condo in Salem. It was a walk up. It was gorgeous. And she had this ridiculously beautiful classic New England tree. Like from, you know, there's like, it was perfect. The shell ornaments and the whole, disgustingly gorgeous. Well, my older brother decides that it's too perfect. So he creates this tradition of hand making her an ornament every year. Oh, it was before my nephew was born, obviously. So she has this whole collection of ornaments that my brother made, like a reindeer out of a K cup, and like a tennis ball into a <laughs> tennis ball into a Grinch. And they're so See, those funny. are fun. He every fun? year he makes another one. Every year she, you know, she gets it as a Christmas present, and then he puts his his um, name and his age on it. So it says like it's Palmer twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> I Palmer, love it. I 33. love 33. It's amazing. I, yeah, I it's love amazing. And it's always like a last minute scramble, like opening the doors, like do we have any pipe cleaners or anything to make this? Oh it's God, so it. good way, every way. See, that, that, year. That makes me laugh. That was our, our that like family revolt against the perfect trees. Yeah. Okay. So the elaborate <laughs> elf on a shelf schemes. Oh, that I can't Can be we be with. done with it? Also, range on a branch is going to go. Branch on a branch, <laughs> bench on a bench. <laughs> That's the uh, the Yiddish connotations here. Oh my god! It's just dumb. It's stupid. They're not watching you. You don't have to do it. You're oh, it's for the grown ups. Also, it's not why would you? Kids. It's creepy. That's yeah, it stalker is stalker behavior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not breeding stalker behavior. Right? Also, does it Do not, not just breed me. like breed more anxiety for kids? Like I have this thing in my house watching right. me in this space that's supposed it's to be safe, and creepy. I have to behave yeah. exactly, and I have to do everything right that my parents tell me for ex- perfectly for 30 days. Like, we can let a kid guys, I've got day. a solution for you. See the calendar on my wall. Get a bunch of stickers at the dollar store with Santas on them, and every day they're good. Put it on the calendar. You're good, you're good, you're good. Saves you a lot of money. It's a dollar. And you sign yourself up for <laughs> this. Enjoy this is what your I don't time. understand. You buy the book for your kids, but then it's your responsibility to get creative right? and look up on the internet some new idea and to then move God this forbid, damn elf. You don't wake up and move that fucking elf, and then oh. all they ruin yeah. their life. So first I was thinking about <laughs> it's the another shit you're lying to your kid about. First I was thinking about the anxiety for the child, but it sounds like more anxiety for the parents. It, it My is. God. It is. And then you can skip the traditional dinner. Why not take no, a break disagree. for Christmas? Disagree. If it's not a good family dinner, I don't want it. No. No. Try something different. Do a- COVID, we Do had Do a pe- lasagna. Co- I don't know. COVID year, we had pizza, <laughs> and that was fine. But no, I want, like, one year we made a crown roast. All right. What's wrong with you? Get rid of it. <laughs> Susan, what do you think? I don't think? know. It's a big, big dinner, no big dinner. Who's cooking? I know. Yeah. Uh, right? Yeah, exactly. But someone else wants to cook, I'm all for it. I was going to say. once again... I'm older than you are. So I've done all of the running around and make it working really hard to impress people that just didn't care. So I'm for what is what makes you happy. Is yeah, there that's no what I'm doing. Sense. If you want to put on festive happy. leggings and order Chinese food, then you do your But there is there no sense of pajamas, obligation to care. the tradition year after year after year. It's like part of what Christmas is. It's like you feel a little bit pressured to keep doing the same thing over and over again, even if it's outdated. Last year I did beef wellington. This year I said prime rib and PJs. That's really where we're and going this year. Prime rib is still like a traditional dinner, though. Yeah, but not in PJs. How often are you going out to have prime rib and PJs, right? Oh, I will. <laughs> That's true. Change it in up. Those Switch damn, it up. You're only allowed to eat the prime rib if you stay in your matching That's PJs. That's it. That's what you That's, your That's the only thing. That's the only time. Well, that'll be fine. Lily's not going to do it anyway. She doesn't eat meat. <laughs> so she's going to have her standard mac and cheese as she does for every holiday oh meal. <laughs> Yum. Every single one. I take that, though. She and I can hang. I love it. So join us for more of the 12 Cups of Christmas. This is your seasonal blend on the things that you do or don't have to do to stress yourself out. Just have a good time and enjoy your family, huh? Yeah. We have a few more really fun segments coming up. Obviously, there are 12 of them. This is number four. So we will see you next time. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we have new episodes released Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Cheers. Cheers.